So this was totally unexpected. We have our very first 1.18 snapshot, which is an experimental snapshot. It's just like the combat snapshot, things will change a lot, and it's more or less just don't expect some of these things to be in 1.18. As this video is released, I am currently live on twitch.tv slash phoenixselive. I will be attempting to stream on the regular schedules for snapshots, which is Tuesday, Wednesday, or Thursday. So the first thing I'm gonna do is not actually go down. You can already see something's changed down here. I'm gonna do what I don't recommend, and that is push my render distance all the way up to 32 chunks. And I'm gonna stare along this axis because there's something very different about this area in particular. I'm not gonna look behind me, but you can already see something going on. I don't have Optifine, this is 1.18, so I'm gonna use my, uh, <laughs> I'm not gonna use that. Now this is not Badlands. From what I've experienced, you are now gonna see a lot of sand and terracotta outlines across cliffs and mountains. If you look even closer, there is actually a village on top of a mountain now, and this is more of a trough down the cliff. If I fly up close here, you can see there are far more variations to the terrain. Um, this village is no longer just flat, which happens a lot, but this is way more flexible. I believe this is true Badlands if I fly. Yep, this is true Badlands. I'm not sure what this is. This is probably some attempt at a crack in the terrain, but we won't go there. There are five new sub biomes for mountains. We have the meadow, the grove, snowy slopes, lofty peaks, and snow-capped peaks. I'm not going through all of them because you should really explore this for yourself. I'm gonna to go to a meadow, which is not too far away. And this is what it is. Again, you can read all this in the wiki, which will be linked in the description. Because this is a mountain sub biome, this is gonna be highly elevated. You are not at like Y equals 64, you're at Y equals 100 if you're near this place. You'll find just a ton of flowers and rabbits and donkeys will spawn here. You can see a donkey right there. That is an azalea tree. Oh, this is nice. Horses will not spawn here, um, just donkeys. So an interesting little fact to consider if you uh, can't find any donkeys, you can look for a meadow, but horses are generally all over the place anyway. Got some more chilling over here. So I'm back to where we started at the beginning of this video. Now, the reason why I wanted to come here is because you can see there is terracotta here, but I'm not at Badlands. I am at a meadow and this meadow is completely torn apart. The reason being, if I fly all the way down, we now have an open cave structure. This is very important because we've talked about this in previous 1.17 snapshots before the split happened. Um, the caves are very, very spacious. The difference here is that the biomes now spawn naturally. This is one of the best caves I've ever seen. And the openings are now completely open. They're not filled with water like the aquifers. We still have aquifers here, but they won't block up the entrance. So these are very easy to locate. These are lush caves, and if I fly further up, it becomes jungle, forest, and whatever, because biomes are now 3D. They respect elevation. Here's the sheer size and depth of it. They will extend down below Y equals zero now, because this is 1.18. And finally, I do want to talk about mob spawning. Mob spawning only happens at block light zero now. This means if you place a torch down, they will have more of an impact, because it has to be a block light of zero. Another way to phrase this is that mobs will not spawn even if it's a bit dark. Make of that what you will. This is experimental. Things might still change. But from what I've gathered, the community actually does like it. So it's all up to you. You can leave it in the comments. I'm currently live on twitch.tv slash live if you'd like to come over. I'm checking out the snapshot. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching. As always, leave a like, subscribe for more creative content, news updates like this. I'm really glad that we're seeing some snapshots now. Take care.